Now, I know a number of you have had trouble understanding how to calculate doubling time from growth curves, so I thought I'd draw it in a way that perhaps you understand a little bit better. So, first of all, I've drawn a growth curve here, and you can see we've got on the y-axis here, we have got amount of biomass in mg per litre, and over here on the x-axis, we have got time which is measured in hours, which is not always the case. You should be very careful to check the units of time when you're doing these kinds of calculations. Now, we've got the curve, and that runs up here. And what we first of all need to do is find a point on here completely arbitrarily, as long as it falls within the exponential growth phase, which in this curve is from around about here to around about here. Here. Now remember I drew this by hand so it is a little bit wobbly. So if I just draw on there to show you the beginning and end roughly of the exponential growth phase and let's take a point arbitrarily and you follow it along through to the y-axis and let's imagine the value on the y-axis there is 208 at that point, milligrams per litre. You now need to find double that value. Now remember this is a log scale over here on the y-axis Sorry, just bear with me a second, software issues. This is a y-axis, obviously, log scale. So 200 is here, 400 is probably going to be somewhere around about here. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, you find double that value, which is 416. And you follow back along as far as the curve. What you now need to do is follow those lines back down until they reach the x-axis, like so. And quite simply, all you have to do, it's really very easy, is just measure the difference here along the x-axis, the difference in time. That is all you have to do. So the difference in time here is equal to the doubling time, which is always measured in hours. So if this is in minutes, you need to convert it into hours. Now you can simply do that by measuring the doubling time across and let's say that when we've measured the doubling time, let's clear off some of this. If we measure the doubling time and it's, I don't know, let's say quite easy, if it was 90 minutes, you divide it by 60, one and a half hours doubling time. Okay, it's as simple as that. There really is nothing more to it. I think a lot of you think it's more complicated than it is. And once you've got this, you can calculate things like mu, which is the maximum specific growth rate, which I'm going to cover elsewhere. Thank you.